Well, I got her some new shoes. Well, they're not new. But, uh, they're better. They got pretty good tread on them, too. So, well, three of them do. This front one doesn't. It got rubbed the wrong way. I bought them off the guy who had them on a Toyota. They're 30 ones. I mean, it's decent. Of course, first thing I had to do was scrub the daylights out of them and put armor all on them. I'm not an armor all fan, but I'm not a white letter fan either, but when I had them put on these rims, I didn't specify. So that's what I got. But it's okay. looks pretty cool. And I got more shocks. And I've got two on. It's like riding in, a, in an army tank when you ride this thing across the field. I don't know how many people have ever ridden a tank, but I believe the tank actually rides a little smoother. I got this one on, and all they are, they're just held on with cotter pins, so I gotta get the other two on. I gotta get the bottom pin in that. And then, I'll tell you what else was figured out. The bearded one came over, and I got to, he wanted to mess with the winch again, so. He got to wiggling it back and forth. It finally clicked in and it engaged. And it goes in without a problem. So it works. And I believe out is just free spool. So far, that's the way it's working anyway. But I'm gonna put the, uh, put the shocks on. I did spray the rims with cheap paint, just for fun. I'm trying to think of else I need to tell you before we get started. I wanna get this thing on the road. So all it needs now is brakes all the way around and uh, lights oh I got to I got to uh, change the fluid in the uh, differential front rear I'm gonna do that I also went through and lubricated uh, every little point greased it they're everywhere I've done about 13 to 15 points on it and there are more they're everywhere I mean, everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Mostly in the steering and in the transfer case and all that. The toughest part of getting these on, putting them on is not a problem. Getting them seated all the way where the rubber is mashed down enough to put the old original heavy washer on and a cotter pin through it's different because the rubber is not all worn out. I've kind of cleaned the post where they sit on there. They're still a little rusty, but it's okay, I got them scrubbed up. See, because now big fat healthy washer on there you can't get a cotter pin through there so what I'm doing is squeezing it with my channel lock and that's working at least to get it seated in a little more still doesn't get it real far then I bought this little pack of cotter pins bring over here. Wait right there. I had to go to uh, two different parts stores to get shocks because I guess it's uh, getting tough to find shocks like this. I didn't know that. I thought these were still pretty standard. But apparently not. I know these cotter pins are a little big. But this one's in the pack. And they give you three of each one. Not four. Just three. Because they want me to enjoy buying a second box. Well, anyway, that's what I gotta do. Let's get them in like that, then bend them up. You know the routine. That's the original cotter pin. 
and that's the biggest ones I could find at an auto parts store. I guess I could have went to Lowe's or something, but anyway, these are working. They're working fine. Okay, this is the front. You see these top ones are pretty good. The post, this one here has thinned out over time because all this up to about right here was in mud and water for I think about 20 years where it sat under, submerged in the years of slop. So I can't believe anything functions well, but it does. A little crunchy, there's no brakes in there because I've taken everything out. It's nothing but a, uh, it's not really considered a roller because it has an engine. So I'm gonna put the shocks on here. That'll eventually need to be replaced as well as the springs, I know. But surprisingly enough, none of the frame is bent or broke or cracked or rusted through or anything. This was a, it still is, it was a one ton that may not be anymore. So, pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put this shock on. Then I wanna get it out of here off my son's basketball court and see if it rides any better. This one is ridiculously tight. I can't get it squeezed down. I do got a question though. What is that stuff all around? There, unless it's, I know, I know there should have been some sort of a washer type stuff through there. Maybe that's it, that big piece of metal and that big hunk of rubbery junk. It's all messed up. Look what I noticed when I was underneath there. That is the shaft to the winch. And it is missing. I don't know if you can see the joint. The, you know, it's see the first thing it goes through right there. It is missing a bolt through it, so I think that's what's causing it to raise up a little high and rub on the frame. That needs to be addressed. We need to have a meeting. I got them now. Let's look at that spot where it's missing the. Oh, the creeper's not creeping real well. It's a little creepy. Let's go into here. And look where the... Ah, oh, there we go. It's cozy in here. It is missing. There we go. It's not missing anything. It's like it's a whole bracket column. There's nothing for it to hook onto on the back. I can't see what you're seeing. Right out here by the purple patch. Here up there. So what's missing right there? Because there's a bolt. whole shaft needs to go down about a quarter of an inch or something really close to rubbing on the brake line. You can see my mounts with the hockey pucks now a little American flag on there. You see everything I lubed? What is this honking thing? I wonder if that is the if that's emergency brake. Yeah, that's emergency break. That's just in case you have an emergency. Oh, we got some mount situations right here. That's kind of tight. But there were so many lube points. It's running pretty good. My thermostat's leaking. I didn't do quite the job I thought I did on it when I uh, built my or put my gasket out of silicone 
So let's get out of here. I wish I could figure out what was supposed to go out there. Oh, there's another loop. Let's see, look at that. Right there. That just looks odd. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be there. Hmm. Yeah, I know that's messed up. I got it pinched real bad when we set the engine in. This it may have to stay that way. If you're okay with it, I'm good. Also, what I haven't found yet is the master cylinder, or have I looked? Which may be this. It's been cut off up here. I'll tell you what's neat about this thing is all the older parts are stamped you know or they have a name on them which is cool so if i found out in the creek i'm like oh that's awesome let's go look it up i'm out of room and we're at some gut wrenching down here let's get out yeah that's the how oh, Yeah, that's a master cylinder because that's the switch that turns the brake lights on. I know it needs new springs. All it needs, really, to make it roadworthy a little bit is brakes and lights. Might need a tag, too. Oh, this is Alabama. You can get away with it without a tag. If it rolls, you can ride it. I replaced the hose down here. I put the old one back on. I squeezed it up and got all the junk out of it. And it's still pretty solid. It is amazing how much stronger that hose is. And this brand spanking new ain't supposed to kink hose. They don't make them like they used to. I also figured out something else. Look at the alignment situation right here. This belt is going that way. This hydraulic pump has some adjustment right here so I can, un I can loosen these and slide them forward and get everything lined up where it needs to be. Somebody said this needs to be under the roller. That is impossible because under the roller is where the uh, the heater hose comes out and there's no room. Absolutely impossible. Could have never been there. So you're thinking, dude, flip the bracket upside down. Well, I would, but if you notice that's straight and it put it in the same spot. I think I'm looking at it. If I flipped it upside down. Let's see, the bracket is an L bracket. If I flipped it over, I'm thinking as I look. I flipped it over. It would be now you can't flip it over because it would put that on the other side over there. But you're thinking, okay, so put this part against the engine and that part up. If you do that it would sit this too low and it wouldn't work. Okay, so we're gonna go with what we have. We really don't even need that thing at all. There's not a span, there's not. There's a less span here than down there. And that's the point of having a roller do flotchy. Let's keep everything semi-lined up from flip-flopping and flopping. Yes, it is. It is too. So, we'll leave that alone. But look at this. Here's the old shot. They work pretty good. They don't go back out anymore though. So we'll get them. We're gonna take this thing down. We'll sit it on the ground, see if it rides any better. I'll tell you what else I can't find. I guess I could on Amazon. 
You know, uh -huh. when Van Halen started that website called Amazon, it was a long time ago, and nobody knew it was gonna get so famous. I was gonna show you something here and I forgot. Dang it. I still have not figured, oh, I know what I was gonna show you, what I can't find other than on Amazon is a uh, single carb, single jet breather. Anywhere, Napa, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Walmart, Publix, Aldi, Winn-Dixie, any of those places I can't find it. Anywhere. I wish I could figure out well, my lights weren't working anymore. But it's got something to do with wires. And I am a uh, Thing's still leaking, and I'm not a wireist, so I don't know what the problem with that is. So let's put this thing on the ground, see if the tires held their air. I almost aired, I almost put this thing on the ground. I'm glad I didn't. I'm gonna change the fluid in the front and rear. Uh, now I'm gonna look up how much goes in there because I know you don't slap fill it up, you can't because the drain. I think if I remember correctly, my old 78 Willie. Will it? Well, 78 CJ5 and uh, my commando. You can only fill up to the drain plug and that's it. So I need a tube to pour or a hose. I see a grease fitting on my jack. I've never known that. Looking a little dry down there. So anyway, before I drive it again, I'm going to fill those up. Somebody said get rid of the dump. That ain't gonna happen. Ever. At all. And I was gonna try to see if this gas tank could be cleaned out until I got to push on it. My finger went through it right there. Let me show you one more thing I found. I didn't find that. Thermostat gasket. I found this in the wad of parts. When I got this thing, it had a bunch of pieces and parts under the seats amidst all the. Uh, rats and squirrel nests, but this is what goes around the pedals. I need a center, I need a, a center cap for my steering wheel. It says exploring Alabama on it. That's next. Alright, time to fill the front and rear. Now how tough this one is to get to. Oh, it ain't bad, it's right there. Somebody put it up front. Cool. It's interesting, I bought two quartz of gear lube and uh, it almost took both of them so I guess it is true I'm trying to figure out if it's still leaking it's true 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 that it takes two to make a it it it, it takes two to make a, it is leaking still I don't want to crank down on this thing and make it too stupid tight because it has been underground for a while. <laughs> oh well, time for the front. I want to uh, show you something before we get moving on. Have I ever shown you this? Nobody gave me that, I bought it. Nobody sent it to me, I bought it. I bought that, no works good. I bought that at a UPS store. And it is so stinking awesome. It's the strongest magnet I've ever felt on one of those. Anyway, also I was going down the road the other day, not in this. It was a pretty awesome chicken slash rat snake. Depending on who you are, where you're from, it's what you call it. I gotta get a, a fuel tank too. I'm gonna get one that's boat tank I think it'd be fine right there but I want to show you the snake I got out of the road and we'll get back on this can't ever tell if I'm recording I want to get this big chicken snake out of the road without getting bit they do bite he'll get run over in a second if I don't get him out of there look at him you can hear that joking Look, I'm trying to save you. This is not a road you want to be playing on. Yeah, get up there. Go. 
Alright, that's it.